Hello everyone and welcome back to Maddox Man 12. So today is a quick tutorial on how to download mods from modsfire.com. Um, so as you know, third party websites can be virus infested. So today I'm going to walk you through how to safely download them without having any risks. So today we are going to download the Freightliner Classic XL which is on Modsfire. So, um, this is a post I put on my channel just yesterday, um, teasing a American Truck Simulator video on this truck. So, yeah, let's get started. So, if you want to, uh, get the link for the truck, you can go onto my channel and go to the post section. It will be on this one right here. You just, and then this is the truck that we'll be downloading. So, you, first, you will, uh, just click on this link right here it will take you to modsfire.com um so the um largest concern for downloading viruses and other stuff you don't want on your computer is um well so if any point when you're trying to click these buttons um it takes you to another tab close it it's just a scam um, so you really don't want that. So, um, yeah, so let's start. Let me show you how to safely navigate this website. So first, when you click the link, it's going to send you exactly to the, uh, download page. So as you can see, it is a RAR file, which is good. Um, and then, yeah, so this is the right mod. First, we're going to, the first button we're going to press is the generate link button. This is um, the only button that will take you to generate this one. Do not click on anything else. That's only going to do you harm, okay? So first, we're going to click on the generate link. Oh, yep, make sure not to click on any ads either. So the generate link button, then it's just going to generate. This is normal. This is supposed to happen. Then it's going to take you to the download link section. You can press that one as well. And then now, so I already have the mod, so I'm not going to download it again. But then you would download this button. I mean, you would uh, press this button to download the mod. Then it would just download on your computer. It took me about five minutes or so. So, um, yes, that is um, how to navigate this website. Now, this is it. You don't have to come back to this website anymore um, unless something didn't work and you want to download it again. All right, so then when the mod is all down, uh, all done downloading, you go to your file explorer and go to the download section. Then you'll find it, the Freightliner Classic XL. Now, I would use WinRAR. It is a very good mod for extracting your files into American Truck Simulator and many other games. Um, I it, It's very useful. It's very user-friendly. And then I'm also going to show you how to use it right now. So, you're going to click on, um, when you're done downloading, you're going to find this. It's Freightliner Classic XL V3.2 version 1.51. Now, for me, it works for version 1.55 for American Truck Simulator. And still runs really well. Doesn't crash anything. So, we're just going to double click on this. And it's going to open up WinRAR for us. So, this is uh, WinRAR. It's really simple. So, and then here we have all of, uh, we have our Freightliner Classic Trucks right here. Um, so it does come with skin packs. Um, I'm just, I just have them anyway. So I just, um, they automatically get downloaded with the truck. So what we're going to do is we're just not uh, going to click on anything because then it's only going to extract that one file. So that means you need to don't have anything clicked on, which means nothing should be blue. Then you're going to go on to the Extract 2 button, which is right here. You're going to click Extract 2. Then you're going to go, uh, it'll pull up this menu. Right here, you're going to find Documents. And then you're going to press the Plus button. Then you're going to find the American Truck Simulator and press the Plus button on the side of American Truck Simulator. Then you're going to find the mod. Um... I, uh, the mod folder right here. You don't press the plus button. You actually press the mod button. Then you press OK. Now, again, since I already have the mod installed, 
I don't need to extract it again, otherwise it might just mess things up. So, you just press OK button and it does everything for you. So, um, that is how to do that. Then, what you'll do is it'll automatically take it into American Truck Simulator for you. So, we're just going to open up American Truck Simulator right now. And, um, yeah, I'll show you what to do from now. Now, we're almost done and everything else that, um... For the rest, to get your truck activated, is um, all on American Truck Simulator. There should not be anything else. Now, you're going to go to the Mod Manager, and you're going to find your truck in Yeah, 2008 or 2016. Wow. I really like it. It's like, uh...